Good morning. Um, this morning we're going to be looking at probability again. And instead of um, what we did yesterday, today we're actually just going to do a problem related to probability. So I want you to get your thinking hats on here. I want you to pretend that you are going to the Western Fair, and probably you've all been to the Western Fair maybe. And you'll probably remember that at the Western Fair they have a lot of these games where you can win prizes. So this problem deals with prizes and a lot of those prize games are rigged so that it's intended for you to lose so they can make money right so um, there is a chance of winning but it's pretty small so let's take a look at this particular problem so let's say this fellow named bob is playing a game at the western fair and and is trying to win a giant bear right so you know one of those giant stuffed bears he has to spin the spinner the spinner twice and depending on what he gets, he can win the prize. So here are the possible spins and prizes he could win. So if he wins, if he spins twice and both times it lands in pink, he wins the giant bear. If both times they land in green, he wins the small bear. If both spins land in blue, he wins the candy. And if he gets two different colors, he doesn't get a prize. So the question is, is it worth it for him to play this game? Are the chances good of him winning that giant bear? Well, let's let's see what we think the probability is of each of these things coming true. So this is called a probability line. And basically what you do is try and find out or try and figure out where each of these possibilities would fall on this line. So it's over here. If it falls on here, that means it's certain, right? So there's not a lot of things in probability that are certain. Certain means it's absolutely going to happen. There's no way it can't happen, all right? So the sun getting up in the morning, rising in the morning, that's pretty certain. So we know that's going to happen. Uh, down the other end, it's impossible. It doesn't matter how many times we try it it's not going to happen. So for example, and uh, for this particular one, if I said, um, you know, he's spinning the spinner twice, what's the chances of getting blue three times in a row? Well, he's not spinning it three times, so he can't possibly get blue three times in a row. So that's an impossibility. It's not going to happen. So the more likely something is going to happen, the more probable something is going to happen, it would fall in this area of the line. And if it's less likely to happen, it would fall in this area of the line. So think a little bit about where each of these results you think is going to happen. Well, which one is the most likely to happen? Good question. So is it more likely that he's going to spin blue twice? Or is it more likely that he's going to spin and get no prize? All right, so let's take a look. So I'm going to say that probably, so let's say, uh, I'm going to just go to different for 2D. I'm going to go to pink, to green, and to blue. So those are represent our spins. So the trick is we need to drag these onto the line as to where we think um, where we think that that they're going to fall all right so there are four, seven sections here and four of them are blue all right so the chances are best that out of the possible prizes that he's going to get two blue however is it more likely to happen than not all right, so it's, I would say it's probably more likely to happen, but not by much, all right, not by much. Two green, all right, of those two sections there, two out of seven, is less likely to happen, but, but not impossible, all right? It's less likely to happen, less probable, but not impossible. It could happen. Maybe pull this a little bit this way. Uh, it's certainly not more probable. Um, in fact, I would even move the blue a little this way. Two pink is absolutely pretty rare. It's going to be down here. It's not impossible, but it's not likely. And two different 
is going to be probably somewhere around the two blue, maybe a little bit more probable, but not much. All right. So this is sort of how I would use this line to determine Bob's likelihood of winning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry out an experiment. All right. I'm going to carry out a small experiment, and this is how this is going to work. I'm going to actually spin the spinner twice, 10 times, all right, to determine if he ever wins. All right, so I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I got to make this way smaller because it's way too big. Uh, D, D, D. And now I got to make it small. There we go. So uh, now what we're going to do, I'm going to make it a little bigger than that, maybe 14. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to spin the spinner twice. And each time he wins a prize, I'm going to say whether he won a prize or not. Okay, so first spin, green. Second spin, no prize. All right, so I'm going to put an X there. Except that X is too big. I'm going to get 14. There's our X. Try number two. Blue. Blue. So in this particular one, he won small bear. So SB. Oh, I got that silly spacing going on again. Let me just fix that. There we go. All right, so he actually did win. So let's try the third one. Blue. Blue, he won again. He's got a lot another small bear. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is candy. This is not the small bear. Candy. So he's winning candy, which is good for him, I guess. One, green. Two, blue. So that's no prize. One. Two. No prize again. One. Two. No prize again. He's on a bad streak here, Bob is. One. Uh oh, big prize. Two. Nope. No prize again. One. Two. Oh, I thought he was going to get it that time. Nope. One. Two. Oh, he got some candy this time. One. Two. Nope. So you can see how game people can actually sort of manipulate you into thinking you've got a good chance of winning and you don't so in fact our uh two different spins and getting no prizes is, is more likely than the two blues um so that just gives you an idea of how the probability would work in this particular case so this is a probability line i just wanted to introduce that to you today we're going to do a little more work on this tomorrow i'm not going to give you any homework with this today i'm going to give you a day off hopefully to finish up if you're working on that passion slideshow that we're hopefully going to show uh tomorrow then maybe you can do that um and uh, I'm not going to give you any, I was going to give you grammar. I'm going to pass on the grammar as well, give you a bit of a break there. And um, we will just uh, go with the math today and uh, working, finishing up that passion project. Okay, enjoy the rest of your morning.